all seen the movies. Yep, the disaster movies where disaster strikes and you're in the middle of a city in a neighborhood and you need to get out. You may not even be in a city. You may be in a rural town with a few thousand people and you need to get out of there as well. And you need a plan and you need, you need supplies. So this morning, you guys are in luck. I've assembled a few things that I have ready to go that you should have with you, bare minimum, in case of emergency where you have to get out. Now, age depends, you know, age and what, what kind of shape you're in is going to play a role. Uh, unless you just lay down and give up, you know, you can at least have somewhat, have somewhat of a fighting chance. Now, number one item you need, I can't mention on YouTube, but you need that and plenty of the little things that go in them. So that is the number one thing you need to defend yourself. And if you, you know, if you don't have that, at least get you a nice knife. Now, this is a U.S. Army Air Force survival knife. A lot of the Air Force pilots carry them. It has a parkerized steel, tongue, uh, carbide steel blade. And these things are handy. And they're very, you know, they're pretty lightweight. But they're not going to break on you. They're not going to rust. They sharpen up really good. Got a serrated top for cutting fence. Whatever you need to do. So a knife is a must. And this one, you can still buy these on eBay for $100 or less. I think they average around $60 to $70 for a good one. Uh, one thing they have that's wrong, I sold these in the Army, uh, in the pawn shop. We carried Army surplus. The snaps always break. So if you know somebody that works leather, they can put a new snap on. I don't really care because I carry this in something else, and I'll show you in a minute. So this is a good item to have. Now... Also, you may want to carry a skinning knife or something, another stainless steel knife. These get really sharp, perfect for skinning. Uh, it, you can't have too many knives, guys. You just can't. That comes in a nice leather case. Uh, you know, they have lightweight pocket knives now that can sharpen up really good. You can get these $10, $20 all day long. But one thing that is really helpful to carry, that is a Leatherman. A real Leatherman, not a cheap knockoff product. These give you so many tools. You have the pliers, the needle nose pliers. Ah, it's got all kinds. Of, I don't even remember what's on this, but you know, it's got saw blades. Very handy, and that is very sharp. It's got your knife blades, screwdrivers. A Leatherman is a lifesaver. So that is something very good to have. Now, to carry these things, I have a few examples here. Let me show you. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you. This you can also pick up on, at a surplus store. This is a lightweight, 100% waterproof. I don't remember. I don't know what they call them now. I just call it. It's not really a backpack, but you can carry it on your back. But you can fit a lot of stuff in these things, man. A lot of stuff. And I do recommend getting things in camouflage. If the items you carry are not in camouflage, make sure you have a bag that is either black or camouflage. Here's some other things you can get for surplus. This is a gas mask carrying case. And they strap around on your side. They'll go over your shoulders, strap around on your side. They have a Velcro uh, latch. You can fit all kinds of things in here. Hey, it doesn't even hurt to have a gas mask if you, if you can get a hold of one of them. But be trained on that. And, you know, there's various other little things that go around your... This is, this, all this stuff here is newer from when I was in the military. But, you know, you can fit, uh, you know, what goes in here. Magazines. Yeah. Alright, there's one option. Here is the option I choose... <laughs> I know you're going to go, he's crazy. Fallout tactical vest. Tons of pockets. I mean, I've got some stuff like here. I've got, I don't know what I got, plastic, that's uh, a poncho. But I've taken a lot of this stuff out to show you guys. Uh, a holster, 
Uh, that'll fit like a nine millimeter, whatever you carry. It's got a lot of, you know, a lot of different spaces. You wear that around your chest, you've seen these. No, people that own these are not terrorists. Real people own these too. And that just hangs in your closet. Have everything in it. When the S hits the fan, you grab it, you put it on, you go. You're ready. What else we got? Old school. You know what that is? Mm-hmm. You're going to need to see where things are. Something like this is ideal. Folds up, very lightweight. Well, you know what they call these things, like a telescope. Yeah. <laughs> Marl! There he is up there on that hill. I think you can pick him off. Hey, he's got, he's got racist pieces, a whole case of them. Let's go. Being funny, but it's no joke, guys. Got to have things and be prepared. Carry a spoon. Just a spoon. You don't need a fork. You need just a spoon. Or you can get a spork. A spork is a spoon that has forked edges. If you can buy one of them, hey, great. Oh, another pocket knife. Small, lightweight. Where is it? I got things everywhere. Well, definitely these are great to have. Your head headbands. Now, all this stuff has, has rechargeable batteries, so you're going to need some kind of a source to charge it. I do got some little portable power banks. Now, we're talking two or three days worth of power. Then after that, you're on your own. Make sure you bring pencils pens and a magic marker let me tell you why a magic marker is great if you're out in the bush or you're hiding and you've got something like this reflecting off the sun you need to paint that black and it will no longer reflect if you're carrying a rifle and you scratch that rifle and, it, and any part of that is shiny you take a couple of Sharpies, you make it black, you black it out. Lighters, carry two or three of them. Emergency blankets, these are the aluminum thermal blankets, good to have. Fire starters, these are the ones you strike the flint thing and, and get the spark. You get these on Amazon cheap, there are two in this package. Box of matches. Put them in a baggie, a Ziploc baggie. Leave them in the original plastic, they'll be fine. Fire is very important. 100 foot of nylon rope, or you can get paracord. I don't know if this is paracord, but any kind of rope will help you out. You need to tie somebody up, you got rope. You need to repel off the side of a cliff, you got rope. Don't open this. Keep it like this and it'll stay, not, stay that way. A life straw. You can stick her in a toilet and drink the water and it'll be clean. Filtered out 100%. Well, 99.99% they say. Lifesaver. will filter up to a thousand gallons of water. You can drink out of creeks, lakes, ponds, whatever. What else we got here? This is something I will keep in my bag. A, a grinder. Take the handle off of it. Yes, it has weight to it, but with this, you can cut off locks, you can cut steel, whatever you need to do. This is probably six, seven pounds, so it is going to be a little heavy, but so handy. But this is an option. You also need to think about first aid. You need a small first aid kit. You definitely need to carry some ibuprofen, some hydrogen peroxide. Don't forget your reading glasses. You may need to read maps, whatever. I'm just looking around, guys. I got everything. Hey, a little old pair of plastic safety glasses. You don't know what you're going to be getting into. A dust storm. Uh, maybe they're dropping bombs and gravels blowing up. Who knows? These don't hurt to have. You need a way to open cans. Because canned food in a bad situation is only going to be the only thing left that's any good. Find yourself a P-38. This is what soldiers have carried for a long time. They opened the sea rations. It's a can opener. They never go dull. And you just, I'd have to show you with a can. You put it on the can and you, and you ratchet it back and forth. And you can open the can. Very lightweight. It goes on your keys. If 
your carrying keys, well, make, make sure you got some other useful tools like a flashlight or a knife on your keychain. This could save your life. You don't never know. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> how about a lightweight pack of throwing knives? I'm serious, guys. You learn how to throw these. These are very useful. And look at this. Each handle is wrapped in paracord, which is very, very useful. Throwing knives. Who'd have thunk it? You know? Ah, <laughs> You know, I'm trying to be funny, but being prepared, you can't be too much prepared. Here's, here's one of the, the power banks I have. I got two of these. Very lightweight. You can charge your phone, which you're not really going to care about your phone, but take your phone. It has cameras. It has useful tools that will work without phone service. Most of them do. Uh, here's a good item to carry. Lightweight. Razor knives. You're going to be out there defending your life and trying to survive. So you want to keep it as lightweight as you can. That's why I say instead of putting 20 of these in your bag, put one of these in your bag. This weighs probably three ounces. It's very light, full of filters. You stick it in the water, you drink it, you're good to go. And let's see, you're going to need a light. Uh, so, you know, we got the, the headlamp. I have some other small, I mean, there are so many, nowadays there are so many small flashlights available. I don't know where I put it, but I've got a small tactical flashlight that works great. Uh, so you just, you know, basically you need to think about first aid, medication. Okay, if you're on medications that are life, you know, it's life-threatening if you don't take them. Make sure you bring, have some of your medication in a bag. Uh light warmth just sit down one day and say okay if i had to leave here in five minutes what would i need in a bag to make me more comfortable and safe and you you'd be surprised and there's websites that'll give you a you can google what to put in a bug out bag it'll tell you all the things you need to have in there uh, but you Again, this comes, you know, you have to determine how old you are, how, what kind of shape you're in, how far can you go, how much can you carry. Now, if you're young and strong, you pack, you pack them bags as full as you can get it, and you'll be fine. So, I don't know if you guys like this type of video, but I like to put that information out there. Uh, also, do not, you know, get together with some friends and discuss that, especially if you live in a neighborhood. Get get two or three people you trust. All right, man, here's a scenario. What do we do? And have a plan. You come to my house when we all take off. Have some food buried somewhere or stashed somewhere that is going to be stay dry, stay out of the heat, um, that you can just, you can, you can run for now, but you know where that food is to come back to. Hide it where nobody will get it. I haven't done that yet, and I need to do that. And I've got some plastic containers that'll work perfect for that. You need some type of vault if you're going to bury them. Uh, you know. Good. But my saying is, if it goes on too long, I don't care anymore. I don't want to live in a world like that. But uh, somebody's going to have to take me out. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, there's your doom and gloom for the week. I got to get busy. I got work to do today. Happy trails. Let me know in the comments if you like this video. And share. Happy trails.